Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm covering communication skills for you to level up your way with words and become much more articulate. In today's episode, we're entering the world of social skills, and I'm going to be sharing a few different reasons as to why people whine. If you're a winner and you're seeing someone is whining near you, you're going to look at this person and be like, this person right here is a loser. But that's not always accurate because people whine for different reasons. And if you cannot spot the reason that they are actually whining, then you are going to make a lot of poor uh, social mistakes. Let's, let's get the losers out of the way first. The first reason people whine is because they are a loser. And what do I mean by a loser? I mean that this is a person with a victimhood mindset. And they don't think much of themselves, which causes them not to think much of others. Whenever they are seeing others who are very happy, uh, they're looking at these guys and saying, uh, what's up with these guys? They're being really fake. Whenever they're seeing something not going well in the world, rather than saying, let me see if I can take a stab at solving this problem, they just whine away. So the number one reason that a lot of people whine is because they have that victimhood mindset. It's pretty much ingrained in them. And you will see it in multiple stages of their life. They have been a whiner. You talk to their coworkers, you talk to their cousins, you talk to their best friends, and you're like, hey, what do you think of Rohit? They're all going to be like, oh, Rohit, oh, he's a whiner. So for the first reason that people whine is because it's in their DNA. These guys are losers. The second reason people whine, it's to build rapport. I know that you were not expecting this, but allow me to explain. There's this guy that lives in Tampa who is an entrepreneur and he's in a very creative field. Every now and then I hit him up to uh, grab coffee and we talk about the entrepreneurship lifestyle. And as we're talking about the entrepreneurship lifestyle, I notice we're doing something. We're whining a lot. We're like, hey man, you ever feel lonely as an entrepreneur? Doesn't it feel like other people don't get you? Yeah, man, I feel like that all the time. Yo, what's up with these clients, man? They say they want one thing, then you give it to them, then they want another thing. I know, I, I feel the same way. And we're just over here whining and whining away. And guess what this is doing for us? We're building a stronger bond. Whenever you see someone within your field, and let's say others don't necessarily understand your field, and you meet with this person, you talk with this person, do not be surprised if a lot of the times you guys are just whining away. This is surprisingly a building the relationship because now it feels like you two speak a secret language. Now, obviously, I'm not saying, hey, invite this person over to whine with them. But if it organically happens, understand why it's happening. It's because you guys understand the pain points of each other's respective fields. And this is causing you guys to vent your frustrations. So this is the second reason people whine. It's to build rapport. And the third reason that someone is whining is because the problem is very severe. I used to know a guy that would never complain about anything. He was always this uh, very uh, happy-go-lucky sort of guy. Uh, he was this black guy named Troy, I believe. He was six foot one to six foot two. Every now and then he'd rib other folks. But other than that, he was a very happy-go-lucky guy. After a certain point though, I recall that he would always complain about food. A lot. I'm like, come on, bro. Like, what's the big deal? Just eat the food. And this was around the time that I was getting into uh, lifting weights. So the way that I viewed food was simply as fuel. And this guy wanted to enjoy his food. So I'm looking at him saying, come on, man, it's just fuel, eat it. He would continue to whine. And eventually he'd uh, become stubborn. He wouldn't even eat the food. Slowly, he began to lose more and more weight. I recall he used to wear this jersey where he used to fill it up before. But after some time, he started to uh, look hollow. That jersey seemed to be overflowing his tiny body. And then he just disappeared for some time. 
We didn't see him in school for a long period of time until two months goes on by and he comes back and he's really skinny at this point. He does not look like the same person at all. We thought he transferred schools, but he didn't. Instead, we found out that he had cancer. And when he was whining about the food a lot, that was the beginning stages. I heard uh, some sort of medical condition causes you to grow a repulsion towards what you're eating. And I guess he was whining a lot because the problem was that severe. This was something that was out of the norm for him, for him. And he was trying to bring awareness to it, to his friends and to himself. He didn't know he had cancer then. So a lot of the times when someone is whining and they typically don't whine, they're not like the first guy who just whines about everything, but it's out of the norm. That means the problem is very big for them to be releasing it to the public. And if you're someone who's just like, oh man, this guy's just being a loser, then you can be like me and a lot of these other buddies who didn't notice that Troy never whines, but today he is. It must be very important. So these are the three reasons that people vent their frustrations a lot. Uh, number one is that they're just a loser and they're going to whine about whatever. The second reason is due to a building rapport with the other person. It's to speak a secret language. And the third reason is because the problem is very severe. And if you cannot distinguish among these three, then you will make a lot of poor judgments, learn to spot the difference among these three, and you will boost your social intelligence along the way. If you enjoyed today's talk, go on and drop that like for me right on below. And thank you very much for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel.